All right. All right. We have official word from Finland. And this motherfucker that's not quite coming up to the stage, but very soon will be coming up to the stage. <laughs> His name is... It's a four-letter word. It's a four-letter word. It starts with an S. Does anyone have a guess? Does anyone have a guess? Does anyone have a guess? Seal. Seal is not it. That would actually be a really good show. Have plus featuring Seal. I would like that. <laughs> His name is Stark! Oh no, and here's the courier. He's wearing, <laughs> this, is, this is actually what the couriers look like when they come from Finland. <laughs> it is United States Postal Service from Finland. They routed it, so it's cheaper that way. <laughs> I am opening the thing. All right. Finland. Great. I am going to do the thing where I pull out the thing and Steampunk is Dead, the Feedback Loop Book 2. Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> I'm sorry, Stock. What was the full title of the story that, that uh, Montreux just gave you? Steampunk is Dead. I agree. The Feedback Loop Book 2 by Harmon Cooper from the Amazon Kindle Store. <laughs> Fuck hey, you, Amazon! That sounds like dog shit. It is. It sounds like pure grade A dog shit that only Finland can provide. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna move this a little bit over here. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Amazon. Yes, dog. <laughs> Steampunk is dead. I try in vain to access my inventory list. My finger taps against thin air, waiting for my inventory list to appear. Come on, you bastard. <laughs> Another kick to the stomach reminds me of where I am, lying in a dirty, greasy, urine-soaked alley, watching the stars and the planets whirl about in my own private planetarium and feeling genuine full-body pain, the likes of which I hadn't felt in years. Blood on my lips, blood on my chin, blood on the pavement, the fight already lost, the white flag tattered. Come on, I say, tapping my finger in the air. Come on. <laughs> Another kick reminds me how real the real world is, how stupid I must look trying to look, access my inventory list. From troubled boys and trigger men to snowed up shitbirds, the story of my life. Pathetic quantum. <laughs> My eyes blur as I take in the man's stompers, oversized things that make him look like a toddler in his dad's sneakers. Yeah, you got something else to say, you bastard? My assailant asks. <laughs> He is east coast to the core, that accent we've come to love and despise coupled with muscles and grease. <laughs> you know, the things that accents have. No duck tail, but definitely slick back. The type of palooka I shouldn't have messed with, the type of Jasper who gets high off pollutes and assaults a feeble guy like me, a man with a cane. Maybe I should have opted for cyborg replacements or an exoskeletal suit. What can I say, a man has his convictions. A kick to my thigh this time. Come on! Is that all you got? My sister hits harder than you. Stand up, you pussy. Fight like a man. <laughs> Leave him alone, Jimmy. He ain't shit. You are not in the loop. Stock, that is F-plus writing material that goes on the fucking floor. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> 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 The reminder has little or no effect. Still trying to access my list, all trying to choose a weapon, anything to handle the wise guy who's kicking me like I'm a recalcitrant Hartley. A recalcitrant Harley. You heard the man. <laughs> what I wouldn't give to access my vintage stag handled Bowie knife, item 33, and slice him into greaser jerky, hang up his carcass to dry, cause I'm the Texas Chainsaw Massacre guy. <laughs> Oh, 
What I wouldn't give to activate my advanced abilities bar, spring into the air and land behind him and crack the back of his neck over my shoulder. I'm a Call of Duty. <laughs> Send Mr. Tough Guy to the morgue before he can utter another word. Make sure the only thing he can do for the next week is eat out of a tube. I suppose the name of the game is Mame, even in the real world. Another kick and I spit blood. Real blood. My blood. No digital sap allowed. You wimpy and weak! The man bends over and socks me in the face. You hear me? Weak! <laughs> if only we could have met somewhere else. A final kiss from his big boot sent a sharp pain ballooning through my body. My finger comes up to access my inventory list and I hear laughter. Hey, let's get out of here, Jimmy! The man's friend says a police siren knifes the air. <laughs> Police sirens do that. They have knives. Checks out. This guy's a this guy's a real freak. Welcome to the real world, Quantum. State your name for the record, please. This field interview is being recorded. The police officer says. The walls of the alley strobe red, blue, blue, red, red, blue, blue, red with sufficient intensity to induce an epileptic seizure. No, that's not efficient. Yeah. Lots of white would be efficient. Yeah. I sit with my back against a dumpster, clutch my cane, and try to make sense of what's just gone down. Quantum hues, I mumble. What? Quantum hues. Okay, no, the second time it made sense. His pupils dilate and completely occlude the iris as he scans me. Okay, this one's not human then. No, he's part of a new human droid police program. Something I would have not believed eight years ago when I first got stuck in the loop. There were human droids before I got trapped in the loop, but they weren't advanced as advanced as they are now. This is garbage. <laughs> Definitely not advanced enough for law enforcement. Now here's Homo Machina Lex Cogendi Officiaris. Genuine Mechanica Porcum Americanus, if you will, in the artificial flesh. <laughs> Next, it'll be ED209s on every street corner. Who'd have thought it would... Who'd have thought it would come to this? Mechanical fuzz? Goodbye, civil liberties, and our rapidly eroding constitutional guarantees, because it's a cyberpunk thing. Oh. <laughs> Skip 54 pages. <laughs> really, genuinely, thanks, Montreux. <laughs> Men repel from the Zeppelin. <laughs> yeah, apparently they've gone back in time. Um, men repel from the Zeppelin, landing in the center of the market. Once they're grounded, coiled wire drops from the craft and the men connect the cables to a plug on the four clock towers. They raise their thumbs and a light flicks on inside the Zeppelin. How's it powered? I asked aloud. With her leaks on, what? What the hell is a leak? The, the vegetable? Yeah, fine. It's a. It's the. I'm. I'm. It's. I'm gonna say it's the vegetable. She's a. She's a Hatsune Miko, apparently. <laughs> With her leaks on, Francis scans the bottom of the Zeppelin. There are people inside pedaling stationary bikes. She finally says. Nope. Bikes. Diamondbacks. It's spin punk. Whoa! <laughs> Steam bikes. Portland punk. Portland punk coming to IFC, IFC this fall. <laughs> so they are creating the power to light up the inside of the Zeppelin? No. Yes. But let's not forget, we are in a VE dream world. Everything is an illusion. What's a VE dream world? Even I don't know, and I'm a cop. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! 
It is illegal to say fuck you to the steampunk police, sir. <laughs> we have steampunk ED-209s, remember? Tell me, tell me about it. A shadowy man appears on the side of the Zeppelin's massive body. He walks towards the center of the craft, his body increasing in size as it's projected onto the side of the Zeppelin. Steampunkers in the market cheer and clap, and they don't get punched in the face. Wait a minute, you just lost me. I don't understand how steampunks don't get punched. <laughs> it's him, someone shouts. A crackling noise comes out of the speaker horns that surround the Wells Vern market. Hello, people of steam, the man says. <laughs> For you newcomers, allow me to welcome you most humbly to this, the best planet in the Proxima Galaxy. What? It's his game in voice. I am your host. <laughs> I am your host, Ray Steampunk, and I'm the developer of this world. <laughs> I am your host, Ray Steampunk. How dare you! Just glue some gears on me and call me Ray Steampunk. <laughs> the crowd hoots and hollers, claps, whistles, and rattles their gears like they've just seen a magician pull a candy-throwing stripper out of a top hat. What? <laughs> what the fuck's a candy-throwing stripper? What? Whatever. 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 Whatever, Amazon. For those of you that have contacted administrators about the boilerplate army massing on the simi city limits of Morlock, uh, know that we've read dis a book once. I read a book once too. <laughs> know that we've dispatched a fleet of our best air enforcers to deal with the issue. If you wish to assist us in the defense of the realm, you can access sign-on information through the mission tab on your avatar's landing page. For today only, we've raised the enlistment bonus to 2,000 shillings, but this drops back down to 1,000 come tomorrow, so be sure to sign up today. I don't want to read the fucking manual. <laughs> Nobody wants to read the terms of service, and that's where I get away with my deeds. <laughs> a few people in the crowd dematerialize as they access their avatar's landing page and join the war against whomever. <laughs> what? The war against whomever. <laughs> Our mortal emer enemy, whoever. Names have never been my forte, especially not artsy, craftsy, fancy, pantsy, steampunk ones. Give me a couple of good stomping grounds like Devil's Alley, The Pier, or possibly The Badlands, and I'm good to go. We can tell. <laughs> the, silhouette, <laughs> the silhouette of Ray Steampunk gestures, gestures like he's about to poke God in the ass. <laughs> It has come to my attention that a pair of Reapers have entered our world. It's an Overwatch now. He says, his pointer finger up in the air now. For those of you unfamiliar with the Reapers, it is my unpleasant duty to enlighten you. As their name implies, Reapers are deathbringers, murderers, destroyers of souls, vile, hateful mercenaries who rape and kill and slaughter for profit. For profit, the worst kind of motivation of all. <laughs> Across the Proxima Galaxy, without regard to the commonly held rules of basic human decency, sportsmen like fair play, good fellowship, and player solidarity. They shamelessly, mercilessly ensnare players inside a world, hold them as slaves, and use them to do their foul bidding. Moreover, these Reapers indiscriminately use prescribed weapons that will kill the plume human player in the real world. Oh my god! Oh my god. Good! A true 
death, a death from which there is no respawning. You mean death? Yes. <laughs> like they're reading from a script, the crowd makes the usual stereotyped crowd noises of horrified shock and disbelief. <laughs> like they were a cliche, the crowd was a cliche. Quivering hands are raised to mouths, wrists to foreheads. Women swoon in their fright, as do some men. Players and NPCs both suspiciously eye their neighbors, rest hands upon sword hilts and holstered pistols. Manny, Manny suddenly retrieve large and powerful weapons from their inventory. I look to Francis. Reapers are here. Looks like Christmas came early. <laughs> She removes, her, she removes her goggles, scans the crowd. Get ready to log out. If only. Huh? Ray Steampunk continues. For more information on Reapers, check out the bulletin post in the... Check out the bulletin board post on my Telnet page. And don't forget to sign my web ring. <laughs> don't, si don't forget to sign up for my web ring. I'm Ray Steampunk. <laughs> for more information on Reapers, check out the bulletin post in the announcements tab of your avatar's landing page. The dastardly pair in question unmistakably identified themselves as Reapers through their base and cowardly actions. Don't you dare unsubscribe. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to part seven of my Let's Play of... <laughs> In an unprovoked attack, they cruelly slew the beloved Mr. Masked Conductor Man. <laughs> and without warning, destroyed one of our scout aircraft. Fortunately, in his last full measure of devotion, the heroic pilot managed to far speak his warning and confirmed that one of them was indeed wearing a reaper skull mask. The system administrator sent an immediate all points warning. Check your inbox if you haven't already. The two reapers are reported to be in the Wells Vern Market out area outside on the skirts of Locus. Ah, shit. The crowd noise picks up. Friends band together, stand back to back. The rattle and clink of weapons n nervously handled grows more pronounced. It's just a matter of time before some dumbass lets one go and precipitates a bloodbath. What, a shit? Um. <laughs> Based on their login details, we have identified them as Quantum Hughes and Francis Euphoria. I repeat, Quantum Hughes and Francis Euphoria are the... I repeat, Quantum Hughes, I repeat, Quantum Hughes and Francis Euphoria. I repeat, Quantum Hughes and Francis Euphoria. They are the two Reapers in question. Their indicators will appear red in the next few moments. Do not engage unless you are at level 45 or higher and only do so at your own risk. For those in the market, get to a safe place or log out. Aaron forces will be there momentarily. That's it for now. Have a wonderful evening, and don't forget to join in our war against the boilerplate army. Until we meet again, I bid you adieu. <laughs> the light inside the Zeppelin turns off. Oh, no. Um. <laughs> oh, yeah. Francis Euphoria's indicator strokes red. It's really, really noticeable. <laughs> Looks like we're about to have company. Log out! Her hand is in front of her now, seconds away from pressing the log out button. Fat chance, Francis. It's been a while since I had a true knockdown drag out fight. Well, no, I said that wrong. It's been a while since I. Had a true knockdown drag out fight in which my ass was not the one getting kicked. Skip 57 pages. <laughs>
Thanks, Montreth. I reach for my deck of luckies on the nightstand, stick a smoky treat in my face, and suck in as it ignites. My lungs fill and my, stim- my simulated algorithmic nicotine receptors scream with pleasure like schoolgirls on roller coaster. <laughs> the smoke swirls and eddies against the ceiling when I blow out. Dolly is next to me, her naked body pressed into mine. She reaches up, plucks the cigarette from my lips, drags on it, coughs. I laugh and she pulls the blanket to her chest. What? She asks and smiles. I always cough when I smoke with you. Skip 92 pages. I look to the beautiful gal laying on my bed in her skin tight red dress. That's a Matrix reference. Uh, My real world problems come to me and I gulp them down. When in doubt, escape. I think I'll stay for a while. Things are easier in here sometimes. (laughs) I understand. Rocket presses the logout button. See you on the other side, Q. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was Stog! I know. <laughs> I know that the material was selected for him. And I know that the material was not his fault. And I know that until this moment, he never saw the material. (laughs) But I still blame him for reading that for us. (laughs) One more time for Stog! I think we can all say, fuck you, Ray Steampunk. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, fuck you, Ray Steampunk.